Hey guys, US Minuteman here. Uh, today I'm going to do a review on a couple knives that I got uh, around Christmas time. Uh, gotta love presents, right? Uh, so, what I'm going to do is kind of put both of these knives in the same video, kind of do a side by side comparison. Um, I'm not particularly a knife guy, so, um, you know, this is just kind of my opinion, my initial review, so this is not expert opinion. So uh, please don't uh, quote me on being an expert. Um, so these are the two knives that I got. Uh, both of them are folding knives. Um, both are made by Smith & Wesson. So this one first is the Smith & Wesson First Response. Okay, So stainless steel, thick, uh, straight edge, uh, no serrations. Okay. And this one is the Smith & Wesson M&P. That's right, an M&P is also a knife as well as a firearm. Alright. So, both these knives, I really like them. Um, as far as folders go, um, they're definitely my favorites now. Um, so it's 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 definitely a toss up of which one I carry. Um, I'll go over a couple of the features of each one and uh, whatnot. And uh, so the first one, the the first response, you know, uh, kind of a stainless steel looking matte kind of finish here, with a uh, some form of plastic. It almost feels like Kydex, but I'm not. Don't quote me on that. I have no idea if it is. Uh, it could be polymer. It could be just regular plastic for all I know. Um, so yeah, no no serration blades. It's a, kind of a straight uh, straight blade here. Uh, uh, folding knife. It's got the the traditional inside lock here for when it locks. As far as the kind of the special features go, this has kind of two external. Uh, features other than the knife itself. Um, close this here. One is this right here. It's got a little blade in here. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. And uh, what that is, it's a seat belt cutter. So, you know, say this hat, you have this in your pocket, you get into a car wreck, for example. You just take this, put it on the seat belt, and you just yank it, and it should cut it. Um, it's a lot more safer. It's a lot safer than using the knife to cut it because you can cut yourself, you can hurt yourself, especially in adrenaline and accidents and all that stuff. So the other feature is this little point here. It's a glass breaker. You know, you just hit it up against the car window or whatever if you need to get out of it really quick. Um, you know, a pretty. Th uh, uh, I like the the thickness of it. It's very thin, but it feels hefty, and I like that. It feels sturdy. Um, all the tolerances are really tight. It doesn't move at all, so this feels like a quality knife. Um, I, I I carry it quite often. Um, I use it quite often, mostly to open stuff, um, open boxes and whatnot. But. Um, Hopefully I can put it through its paces and get some uh, real use out of it sometime soon. Maybe I'll test the, the seatbelt cutter if I can get a seatbelt that I can you know, cut with it uh, or something. Maybe I could use an old belt or something. Uh, maybe break some glass with it. Who knows? We'll see. I'll try to find some way to put it through its paces. Um, as far as gripes go, there are two gripes I would say that aren't the worst things in the world. It doesn't detract from the knife too much. Um, one, on the blade, and I know you won't be able to see it with my camera, but um, at some point I got a couple spots of rust. It's re really, really, really small, and so you can't see it very well. So I have to get some cleaner and, and clean that off. But, uh, so you know, as long as you take care of it, it, it would, it'll do well. Um, but that happened kind of quickly, so it's a little, little bit of a gripe there. And the other one is 
the way the the clip is pointing, if you're carrying it in your pocket, this the the way it opens is facing up. So if you reach down to pull it out of your pocket, you gotta flip it around to open it. So another kind of gripe there. So now uh, the Smith and Wesson M and P here. This knife is is really nice. I really like it. It's got the straight blade plus the serration, so it's like a third third of the blade serrations. Same locking mechanism. Uh, it, it, it's hefty and it's thicker than the first response. Um, I, I kind of measured it. It's like 50% thicker than the first response. Um, oh, the handle is... It's got a little bit more polymer, I think. I think it's meant to be pol polymer because it's m and um, But I'm not... Don't quote me on that. You'd have to look it up. Uh, as far as the handle goes, it's got a little bit of rubber for uh, grip. Um, this is an assisted knife, so it's spring-loaded. So uh, if you ever get this knife, obviously, we'll look at your laws. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to carry this in Oregon. Um, there is something about it, but um, anyway, it's uh, so it's it's assisted, which is uh, it's a quick it's quick and nice. So if I ever have to get it out quick, it's always nice. As far as the features go, the assisted is definitely one of them. It also has a point for a glass break. I actually like it better. It, it comes to a it looks like it's a an added on feature as opposed to the metal just protruding so uh, it, it definitely looks nice it looks more uh, like it would work better another feature is this right here now this is a safety I've never seen a safety on a knife before maybe it's a common thing but I've never seen one Let's see safety safety off red equals uh, hot so I can't open it at all no matter how much I try and if you put the safety on when it's open too you can't shut it either so basically you can't fold it or unfold it when the safety is on that to me I feel is a little unnecessary um, maybe I understand with the spring assisted because I actually had somebody get hurt with this a little bit trying to work it, but as a self-defense tool, if this is a self-defense knife, it's it's just one thing that could get in the way and could cost you your life. Um, so if you do get this knife and it has a safety, I don't know if they come without a safety, like, that is definitely a possibility. Train with it, make sure you know where it's at so you can flick it off if you have to. So that might be a slight gripe. Um, another gripe I have is the the clip. It does face down. It faces the opposite way. So when I pull it out of my pocket, it's ready to go. That's one good thing. But as I use it, as I pull it in and out of my pocket, this loosens up quite a bit. It moves a lot. I, I tightened it down to where it wasn't moving, but then as I pulled it in and out of my pocket through it at night or or whatever taking it out it, it loosened up so that's kind of a gripe I have the first response clip does not loosen at least not uh, from what I have found so uh, those are just my two knives both by Smith & Wesson uh, I like them both um, they each have their merits like I said this is kind of a quick one um, for self-defense I feel like this is a good one uh, just because you can get that blade out quick, um, you can you know take the blade out normally like any other uh, folding knife, or you can hit that quick uh, assisted opening. Just uh, beware of that that safety that it has. The first response is also another good one. It's very solid, um, a very good knife. If it's kind of a for me, it's a little bit more of a an all-around good all-around knife not specifically a defense knife 
and that's only because of the way the clip is pointing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this initial review. Uh, hopefully I will have an update when I use these more. If anything breaks, I will let you know. Um, anything fails at all, and I will also let you know. Uh, both of these are pretty sharp, by the way. Just so you know, they uh, they come pretty sharp. As far as sharpening it, I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, this has uh, been US Minuteman. Uh, please like, subscribe to my videos, uh, subscribe to my channel I'm in, and uh, carry smart, and I will see you guys later.